So the adrenal cortex produces weak androgens, the glucocorticoid hormone cortisol, and the mineralocorticoid hormone aldosterone, all steroid hormones. The adrenal medulla, however, has a different developmental origin and produces a completely different family of hormones called the catecholamines. Catecholamines are small, water-soluble hormones, which means that unlike the steroid hormones, they travel loose in the blood, work on plasma membrane receptors, and have short-term effects. The family of catecholamines includes dopamine and noradrenaline, but these usually work as neurotransmitters rather than hormones. They're not secreted into the blood by the adrenal medulla in significant concentrations, so they don't have a very important hormonal effect. Instead, the key hormone which is released by the adrenal medulla into the bloodstream is adrenaline, which in America is known as epinephrine. The adrenal medulla is stimulated to secrete adrenaline into the blood by the sympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic fibres travelling from the spinal cord reach the adrenal medulla and stimulate the cells there, which release adrenaline in response. Adrenaline, then, can be seen as the hormonal arm of the sympathetic nervous system complementing the neural arm, represented by the other sympathetic nerve fibres which travel around the body. Those other nerve fibres release noradrenaline, or norepinephrine if you're American, directly onto the target cells. So noradrenaline is a neurotransmitter, while adrenaline from the adrenal medulla is a hormone. You can think of the sympathetic nerve fibres releasing noradrenaline as like a special courier service. This courier service will get your letter exactly where it's needed, and only there, very fast indeed. But it's a costly service. If you want a whole town to respond, it would be too costly to hire couriers to take letters to everyone's house individually. That's where the adrenal medulla comes in. Adrenaline from the adrenal medulla works more like a mail shot. A mail shot, little pamphlets that come through your letterbox, these things are very cheap to produce. They get to everybody's house, but only some of the people will respond. In biological terms, the courier service represented by the sympathetic nerves is targeted because the nerve fibres go to particular organs, but costly because you have to send action potentials down those nerve fibres in order to release the noradrenaline from the nerve terminals. And that would cost a lot of energy if it had to be sustained for a long time. Releasing adrenaline as a hormone into the blood is cheaper. It's released in very small concentrations, and it will remain in the blood for a few minutes, stimulating any cell which has receptors for it, and getting all of the appropriate organs to respond at once. Except for the brain, of course, because adrenaline is a water-soluble hormone, and it doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier.